I'm Joey Riddle, I'm principal of Mutual Metropolitan High School, and I am very happy to have you here to join uh, with us as we celebrate a wonderful person and teacher, Ms. Brenda Mattingly. Um, joining us here on the stage for this celebration, uh, we have uh, Mr. Eddie Walters, assistant principal. We have um, Melody from lg and &E. We have Melody uh, Hulsch-Schuler from WHAS. We have Gary Rodemeyer uh, from JCPS, our superintendent, Dr. Hargens. And uh, the uh, board member that represents Mutual's district, Mr. Stephen Imhoff. We also have in the audience, we have our assistant superintendent, Joe Burks, and the executive director of everything, Jack Jacobs. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Gary Rodemeyer. Uh, the Excel Award is a, is a special time for school, speaking of time, and, and also for me. Uh, many of you may know that um, uh, it, it's been like two and a half years now that I retired as the news anchor at WHAS. And uh, at the time, um, one of the things that was dear to my heart was presenting the Excel Award and being involved in the program. And I asked them at that time, uh, I'm retiring, but could I keep on doing the Excel Award? And so I was uh, delighted that, uh, that they went along with the scheme. And then uh, that's the reason I'm here today, to honor another great school teacher. Now, the Excel Award was created in 1989. And it has since been a 22-year search for teachers who exemplify the best in public education. The founders gave us the job of seeking out great school teachers and with the power of the television station telling the world about their accomplishments and how much they contribute to our schools, to our community, and to our country. And today our search for great teachers who excel has brought us to Butchell Metropolitan High School, the first time we've been here. And we are here because of English teacher Brenda Mattingly and what she has accomplished in this place, and the students she has taught and mentored, and of course led toward more meaningful lives. This may come as no surprise. Brenda, no matter what she has done, has always excelled. I don't know if you know the background of this lady. No matter where she has been or what she has done, she has excelled. She graduated from the University of Louisville, summa cum laude, with highest honors. She was the headmaster at the Meredith Dunn School. She made improvements to that private school that doubled the enrollment of the school. She was recognized by the Salvation Army for her efforts in educating homeless people. Brenda was chosen as Volunteer of the Year by Leadership Louisville. And she is recognized as an innovative grant writer who has brought thousands of dollars to this school for special programs and for field trips. But most importantly, this is what she's doing now. Brenda excels at teaching and commuting with individual students, sometimes students that are troubled. As one fellow teacher wrote, Brenda is unfailingly upbeat and positive in trying to redirect her students toward success. She has been called determined and relentless as a teacher. She won't give up, and she won't allow her students to give up. As head of the English department, she is a caring, kind, and devoted professional who shares her knowledge also with other teachers. Brenda excels because she is devoted to her profession. That's what we come to honor, the teaching profession. And she is a natural leader among teachers. And that is why we come to this special school, to alert the community about the works of this great teacher. As I look at the students, their faces remind me that Brenda Mattingly is preparing them for life and preparing them very well. Brenda, if you would please come forward. <laughs> Brenda, I bring the golden apple, the WHAS 11, lg &E KU Excel Award. It is emblematic of a teacher's hall of fame reserved for only the very best public school teachers in our region that we call Kentuckiana. We are delighted to be here today. As you can see, the golden apple reflects, well, it reflects you and I right now, but it also reflects the faces of all of those students 
whose lives you have improved over your years in public education. Congratulations, you are an Acceler Award winner. <laughs> And excitingly enough, that is just half of the Excel Award. There is more to come. Um, please welcome, uh, with the part of the award we call the Big Check, representing LG. I know it's exciting. Representing LG &E and KU, the local power companies. Please welcome Melody Hulshuler. Thank you, Gary, and good afternoon, everyone. As I was saying, as I was sprinting across the parking lot, can't start without me, I have the money. <laughs> I have the big check. <laughs> On behalf of all the employees at lg &E and KU, it is truly a pleasure for me to be here today to honor such an exceptional teacher for the positive impact she has had on the lives of her students. At lg and &E and KU, we feel strongly that education is the key to a brighter future and improving the quality of life for everyone. We contribute resources, talent, and ideals that make our communities great places to live and work. In addition to the financial support provided by lg and &E and KU, we are proud of our employees' involvement in helping transform today's students into tomorrow's leaders. Because we have a passionate belief that we can make a difference in the world around us, our commitment to education and our communities is enduring. It has been said by your peers that you are a valued member of the staff at Butchel Metropolitan High School, and that you are a wonderful worker and a natural leader that always goes above and beyond the call of duty. Most importantly, you help prepare your students for life. With that said, Ms. Mattingly, I believe that you have made that impact you've so desired and are one of the best and a leader in your profession. I am happy to award you today with something I know you'll put to good use in your classroom. Congratulations, and please come forward. have the real one <laughs> and then we have a smaller one you can play in the oh, pocket. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> this is the fun one for the students. Oh, yeah. We really appreciate Gary and Melody. Uh, I've been the superintendent since August 1st, so it's about six months. I can tell you a real highlight of the time I've been here is to be a part of these Excel celebrations because they truly are what we're about is excellence in teaching and what's good for our students. So Brenda Mattingly is exactly the type of teacher that the Excel Award was created to honor. Throughout her career, she has demonstrated her commitment to education and to improving the lives of others. In fact, as Gary noted, the Excel Award is not the first award that Louisville organizations have bestowed on her. She previously received the Volunteer of the Year Award from Leadership Louisville and a Fearless Leadership Award from the Salvation Army. She, at Butchel, her colleagues say that she is not just a fearless leader, but she's a natural leader, and that she teaches not just English, but about life. She raises both self-esteem and community awareness among her students by encouraging them to participate in such programs as Men of Quality and Future Business Leaders of America. Colleagues say that her classroom is active and rigorous. As part of the Excel nomination process, an observation team visited her classroom, and the observation team made these comments. Ms. Mattingly is one of the most enthusiastic teachers I have ever observed. As her students presented projects, they demonstrated, she demonstrated her well-founded faith in them. She encourages all students to work at high levels. Again, I want to thank lg and &E, and WHAS 11 for giving this opportunity today to honor such a great teacher. I want to thank Ms. Mattingly on behalf of the Jefferson County Public School District for the excellent work she does for our students. It is my honor to present you the superintendent's medallion.
Well, it is indeed a profound pleasure to be here uh, for Brenda's uh, recognition. And let me just say this. Uh, we have many, we have thousands of teachers. And uh, to be, to receive this Excel Award means you're in the, you're in the top 1%. You're, you're in the elite. Uh, just like they asked at the start of the football season, they asked uh, uh, Eli Manning, are you an elite quarterback? And he sort of says, yeah, I guess I am. He proved it. Well, we know now that Brenda is an elite teacher, and we're proud that, uh, that we're recognizing her today. And I'm sure her family, who uh, they've, they've been aware of that for many, many years. First, thanks, for, uh, thanks to LG&E and WHES for uh, starting this program in 1989 and continuing it because it is indeed important to recognize the, uh, the best teachers that we have here at JCPS. I've never, I don't know if I've ever been called elite or uh, re received any type of an award like this. And it wasn't until a couple years ago I knew what su summa cum laude meant. But actually, actually I did know, actually I did know what my father, before I was 10, he, he, he would tell us, all five of us, you know, someday you'll graduate magna cum laude or summa cum laude. Uh, I graduated in, from the University of Kentucky in tennis. Uh, so, but that's as close as I got. I had fairly good grades, but... Uh, but nothing like nothing like the uh, the recognition that she started with uh, uh, from uh, from college, and I'm sure in high school. So uh, she has uh, earned this recognition, and I'm glad to be part of this. So what I have right here is the Apple Award. Come on up here, and we'll hand this to you. Mrs. Madeline came to Butch in 2006. During this time, I've had the opportunity to observe her classes. And I had the privilege to observe her classes. Mrs. Madeline, I observed her classes as a friend, as a colleague, and as a professional. And as of today, I can truly say that Mrs. Madeline's classes, you could walk in her classroom, the students are always engaged. Ms. Madeline excelled in creating a warm and supporting environment in the classroom. She creates opportunities to promote student self-examination. Ms. Madeline raises student self-esteem. She promotes community awareness, and she challenges her students to articulate their opinions and their reasoning without being judgmental. Besides being a teacher at Beach Metropolitan High School, Ms. Madeline, <coughs> excuse me, was the school liaison. As the community liaison here at Bishop Metropolitan High School, she wrote many grants that procured funds for programs that help in our existing program at Bishop Metropolitan High School, as well as uh, grants that help the students at Bishop Metropolitan High School. Some examples of the grant that Mrs. Madeline obtained for Bishop Metropolitan are the following. She wrote a grant for a year-long partnership for the funds for the arts, in which the full local artists will perform interactive workshop and play for the student on several occasions. Mrs. Grant, Mrs. Madeline also wrote a grant for a full set of PE equipment for our PE classes, which you see right over there. Mrs. Grant also provided, uh, Mrs. Madeline also provided a grant for a partnership with uh, Louisville Courier Journal, in which all of her students received in the newspaper in which they can read each day in a classroom. She also had a grant that provided a partnership with, major, with the, one of the major printing companies in, its, in the city here, in which th that company printed student newspapers in which she was well, also the sponsor of the class. Mrs. Grant also wrote a grant, Mrs. Madeley also wrote a grant that produced garden tools, plants, and the works for the school garden in which the student planted, harvest, and they produce. Ms. Madeline also set up field trip, obtaining speakers and professional and professional to interact with our students. Some of the field trips, speakers which you had here at the school were the following. The arts, dress for success, drug and alcohol, wellness, technical and college preparation, prevention of violence, and skills needed in the workplace. These are just a few of Mrs. Madeline's accomplishments and contributions to the education of program here at Beach Metropolitan. As you can see, Ms. Madeline is truly student-centered. 
a professional, a natural leader, and she is an outstanding example of our profession. And because of these and many other intangibles, we would like to celebrate Mrs. Madeline. Mrs. Madeline, would you come forward, please? On behalf of Bishop Metropolitan High School, I present to you this award. Great to be here today. <laughs> a special thank you goes out to LGNEKU, WHAS, Superintendent Hargens, and those in attendance who have been, even to this day, excellent teachers in my life. My family, my friends, my colleagues, and the mentors who have always helped me to grow. I'd like to share a bit about a fragile, misunderstood child. Yours truly, who succeeded even against many odds because of educators in my life. Entering first grade, I wasn't prepared. Being from a family of 12 children meant your parents didn't have the luxury of giving individual attention, just as many of the students and families we serve in our alternative schools. I then almost died in the second grade. I contracted Bright's disease. I knew I did this. And my doctors and parents didn't think I'd make it. Absent from school, just like some of the students we serve in our alternative schools. There's more. I had a tough time reading. My elementary school had blue birds, red birds, and the yellow bird reading groups. The yellow birds were the lowest group, and I was in that group. It wasn't until decades later that I learned that I am dyslexic. <clears throat> just like some of the students we serve in our alternative schools. With the help of many strong teachers like Sister Catherine Therese, a nun who gave me special attention, even though I was one of the plainest children in a class of 50 students, I prodded on. She showed me that I was special. Even as many more beautiful and academically inclined students surrounded me, she made me feel special. I desperately needed that attention, just as the students we serve in our alternative schools. Her love and belief in me kept me strong and assisted me in graduating from high school. But with the learning problems, which I still could not identify, I was unenthused with the classroom. I remember jumping up and down with excitement when the day of sitting in the classroom was over. Did I mention that I was ADHD too, but only as adult put on medicine? At that time, I believed I would never sit in another classroom. But after years of minimum wage jobs and low self-esteem, I decided ugh, I had to go back to school. Just as many of the students we serve in the JCPS GED program. While I was attempting to succeed in college, I got clues of my dyslexia when my daughter's caring teacher suspected that she had a learning problem, a reading problem. I took my daughter to a reading specialist who put eight lines on the board and said to my daughter, now tell me how many lines are on that board, eight parallel lines. My daughter went eight. I couldn't make it out. I couldn't distinguish where those lines started and where those lines stopped. Just as many of the students we serve in our alternative schools. When in college, I discovered more about my learning problems. With the help of many caring professors and support from my family, I not only graduated from college, but graduated at the top of my class. I recall my research methods uh, professor, who was supervising a thesis paper that I was writing, say, Brenda, you're really smart. Words I had never heard. Puzzled, I sincerely looked at her and said, no. I just work hard. She took a long breath and she quietly said, yes, you are smarter than the average person and you need to embrace your gifts. I recall driving home thinking, could she be right or is this a fluke? Am I really smart? Words I needed to hear just as many students in our alternative schools. Well, 
Over time, I learned that I did have gifts. I simply needed great people to help me understand and embrace my gifts, just as many of the students in our alternative schools. Today, along with my excellent colleagues, they are among us today, are privileged to find the glimmer of light in students who have similar challenges. Light the fire in the hearts of students who struggle for different reasons. Having not been prepared for school at an early age, having chronic absences from school for various reasons, having ADHD or being dyslexic or having other learning difficulties, having family or community concerns that demand their attention and distract them from learning in school, having never genuinely heard, you are special just the way you are. You see, we all have been given gifts. For those of us who have received help along the way and had someone believe in us, we're now given that privilege to find the light in our young people and help them believe in themselves. Our alternative schools, along with our GED program, are filled with students like me. Gifted students who need educators and community members to sincerely say, you're smart, you're special, you have something that our community needs. Today, I dedicate this award to all alternative school teachers, GED educators, and community members who stop, listen, learn, and especially care about uncovering, uncovering the glimmering light within our most vulnerable yet gifted students so they can shine in their own special way. And remember, words are the most powerful instruments in shaping others. No matter what walk of life, we are all educators. We're all called to inspire our young people and help them reach their pinnacle of excellence. From a non-traditional student and non-traditional teacher, I want to thank you all for all you do. Thank you very much. We're truly inspired by your speech and your challenge. Uh, it's wonderful. And I want to tell you, just like I tell many Excel Award winners, um, you have your award, but this is just the beginning. Um, I'm going to make you the star of the 5 o'clock newscast tonight, okay? Would that be all right? Yeah. <laughs> and after your speech, I want to tell you, I, I don't believe I've ever seen a teacher that is more deserving of, of, that, of that spotlight. And then next fall, um, there, is a, there is a black tie banquet called the uh, Celebration, at which we will uh, gather uh, at the Olmstead out on Frankfurt Avenue. And uh, you and your fellow Excel Award winners from this academic year, and there will be 12 others, uh, will uh, be featured once again. And we'll be showing the videos from, from this day and from, from other days where we present Excel Awards over the next several months. So Brenda Mattingly, thank you. you. You inspire us all to do great things, and you warm our hearts with what you are accomplishing here in this place. Thanks so much for being an Excel Award winner. One thing I failed to mention um, as I first came up was the people that nominated her. I really need to recognize them because they went out of their way to, to uh, identify your talents and share it with the world. So Jackie Wisman, former principal of UT Metropolitan, and Eddie Walters. For her friends and family, I can't tell you how proud you should be for Brenda. What, if you had the opportunity to see her interacting with students in the classroom, it would melt your heart. She has high expectations, but a huge heart for her students. So to, to see her interact, I'm proud of her. You all should be proud of her. 